Hello everyone, welcome to part 108 of Laravel 9 series in which we are creating the multi vendor e commerce website. So, we will continue working on the user registration process. And in this video, we are going to send register mail offline via mail trap tool. Okay, so this mail trap we have already done earlier. In the earlier video, I think we have done uh, at the time when we are sending the approval email to the vendor. Okay, when the vendor registered to our website. Uh, and then we send the approval mail to the vendor when the uh, vendor completes the information such kind of mail we have already sent and we have created the mail trap account and if you have not created then you need to create the mail trap account because uh, this is uh, we are going to use as the testing tool for sending the emails offline okay so in this mail trap account you are going to receive all the emails that you are going to send for your product offline okay so this is really good tool uh, so you must create the account from here sign up uh, sign up from here in case you have not created your account then sign up so i have already created my account i can able to log in with my google account okay i'm going to log in with my google account i think every one of you is having the google account gmail account so you can also log in with your gmail or google account okay so here uh, the email setting you need to do uh, in env file you need to do all the email setting these are the setting that are provided by the mail trap so you need to configure this setting in the dot env file this one we have already done we are not required to do it again and again now we can send any email offline we will get all the emails offline in our mail trap account this is the inbox of the mail trap account where we will get all the emails okay so uh, they also provide the settings as well if in case uh, you don't have the setting you can simply configure your email account okay uh, so you will get all the emails in this inbox okay whenever you will send email offline then you are going to receive here you can see we are already receiving all this email vendor account is approved approved okay see all this email we are uh, getting see three days earlier also we get this email vendor account approved okay so once you will click on inbox you will get all the emails here and you can see the credential here show credential you will get all these credential like i have mentioned okay you will get all these credential so that you can add in your env file and can run the emails offline okay i have removed the pa uh, password for the security reason okay you will also get the password as well okay so now we are going to send the register email every time when the user uh, will register to our uh, multi vendor e-commerce website we are going to send the email to the user welcome uh, email to the user the for uh, for re registering to our e-commerce website okay so let's do that thing uh, so we are going to update the user controller user controller file okay uh, not able to search this one app has to be controller in front user controller this file okay so every time when we will uh, user will register here we are going to send the email to the user as well Let's send a register email okay so uh, in dollar email variable we will get the email of the user that the user fill in the register form okay after getting the email we will also create one array messy data array uh, that uh, we can uh, send to uh, the email okay send to the email <coughs> so in this array we are going to uh, add <coughs> a few uh, variables that we require like name we require name uh, name we can get it like this dollar data name okay <laughs> and other than name we require mobile as well see whatever uh, we are getting uh, at the time of the register we are getting the name mobile email so all we are going to display to the user that we have registered your account with the below details okay so these are the mandatory details that the user is required to fill dollar mobile and after that uh, we also get the email dollar email dollar data email okay 
so these are the uh, information that we are getting from the user uh, name mobile as well as email okay <coughs> so this is the messy data uh, array for us and after that we are going to send uh, the email to the user with the mail send code that is the code that we use in laravel okay mail send okay in this we are going to uh, see this is the class emails class and this is the register uh, blade file we are going to create the register blade file uh, sorry this is the emails folder under emails folder we are going to uh, create the register blade file <coughs> okay so uh, so this messy data we are going to pass this message data along with that uh, uh, we are going to uh, set up the subject as well and here we will write message and we are going to use the dollar email this is the syntax that you need to learn for the email for sending the email okay here curly brackets will come okay <clears throat> so uh, now here uh, we are going to write dollar message once again it is same like we uh, used to write the sub query if you remember okay so uh, we are going to send to this email id to and the subject is uh, subject of the email is so we can uh, we can do like welcome to e-commerce okay whatever the name of the uh, website uh, like welcome to stack developers is the name of the website if the name of the website is stack developers then we can say welcome to stack developers okay like this okay so uh, now we are going to write the register email in the uh, resources views we go this is prep folder inside resources inside views then inside uh, uh, emails okay uh, see these are the emails that we are already sending now one more we are going to add here in mac we need to add the uh, file like this touch uh, and i'm going to make it like register dot blade dot php okay if you are in windows you can simply go inside the folder and create the file okay right click and you can create the test file and rename that file to the register.blade.php file and after that you can open this file register.blade.php uh, to write the code see this is not the file a great file that we want and uh, this is the file that we have just created okay so here we are going to write the html syntax okay so uh, we can do it like this so that it will fill out fill all the html and in the body tag we are going to add the further tags like this table inside table we are going to add tr okay in inside tr and now we are going to write one td inside td we are going to write dear uh, whatever the name we are sending the name from there dollar name okay so this one we can repeat it like this and sorry and here uh, we can just give some space so you need to write the simple email you can get the email design from your designer as well okay uh, so we can simply write the simple email right now your account has been successfully created okay uh, first of all uh, we can also say like welcome to stack developer okay uh, your account has been successfully created with below information okay it looks better here we can add like this okay so after this one uh, one more spacing for spacing we will add it like this <coughs> and after that uh, we can add all the like uh, all the details like name uh, dollar name 
after that spacing is required to give uh, we will do like this one two three okay after name mobile and after mobile email okay after email password password we are not going to send okay we are going to write like this as chosen by you okay so once again we are going to give space okay and uh, then uh, at last thanks and regards and finally uh, like uh, our website name like stack developers here we will give more pressing okay so now we can try sending the email uh, okay so email is ready okay uh, but before that we are going to add the class for sending the email that is necessary okay uh, we need uh, here at the top we can add use illuminate okay uh, and uh, support this is the class that is located in this path packets and the email email okay uh, okay so now it seems to be fine now we can uh, try uh, sending the email i'm going to register the new email account and the email must come here so let's see uh, like uh, if i will give i will fill all the information okay any number okay and after that email.com password one two three four five six let's fill and register register here uh, the mobile must be tangent okay fine see it is instantly telling our issues and it is not doing anything maybe the error yeah it has come to the car it taken few seconds for se for sending the email i think let's check the email has come you can see the email has come here welcome to stack developers dear Ramit gupta welcome to stack developer your account has been specifically created with below information name Ramit gupta mobile email password as chosen by you okay so finally we able to send the email welcome email okay and it is coming here and you can see you can test your email like this okay you can test any of your email like this not only in laravel but in other frameworks as well you can send the email offline via mail trap uh, software and uh, it is really good thing earlier on i am using the yop mail we have used the yop mail in our advanced e-commerce series in our basic e-commerce series as well but here in the multi vendor e commerce series in Laravel 9, we have updated ourselves to use the mail trap service that everyone is using nowadays. Okay, so I hope that you can also configure the mail trap uh, with your Laravel website and can send the email offline. And if in case you will find it any issue, you can surely contact me. Okay, you can contact me anywhere. And once again, I am telling you to subscribe my channel so that. Uh, you will get all the updates now okay and always click on the bell icon and uh, this is the channel name youtube.com slash tag developers and uh, please subscribe here and you can also join if you want to get the source code if you want to get the complete source code complete advanced e-commerce series complete basic e-commerce series and whatever we have done so far in the multi vendor e-commerce series that you will get with the complete support as well so you can join as well if you want and you can also uh, see you can also join our uh, stack developers group as well and can uh, fill the queries there if anytime you will uh, get any issue you can simply uh, means uh, uh, add the queries in your uh, stack see here in stack developers group as well and you can also like the page of the stack developers stack developers to facebook.com stack developers to, to get all the updates so uh, so that's all for now in the next video we are going to learn how to send the sms
offline okay how to send the sms uh you need to get the sms package i will tell you that how you can get the package and how you can send the sms uh for your laravel e-commerce website okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye